higher uh, toolkit uh, for uh, general medical use and for use by residents, uh, students, interns, anybody interested. Uh, this is the first recording. I'm uh, talking about um, open bronchus sign. So the question there is uh, what is open bronchus and uh, what is the sign and uh, how do we use it? Uh, open bronchus sign is a radiologic sign and uh, it is a radiologic sign so it relates to x-rays and uh, CAT scans maybe it relates to MRI, but uh, usually it would be related to X-rays and CAT scan. Uh, as far as the uh, X-rays go and the CAT scan goes, since we are talking about uh, open bronchus sign, uh, we have to have a picture, which I don't have. So I would direct you to um, internet sources to see what an open bronchus sign is supposed to depict or portray and what it's supposed to look like. Here I'll just make a couple of points about how to use the sign. When you're referring to the open bronchus sign, you're referring to alveolar shadows. And here I'm referring to a plain x-ray and I'm referring to a plain x-ray of the chest. So if you're talking about open bronchus sign in an x-ray of the chest and you're referring to alveolar shadows, it means that there is an air bronchogram in the x-ray of the chest. Now what is an air bronchogram? Well, again I'll have to direct you to internet sources to see what an air bronchogram is supposed to look like on, on an x-ray. Moving forward, if you have an air bronchogram, it means that the air has traveled from the primary bronchus into the alveoli because an air bronchogram is an alveolar sign. For the air to travel from the bronchus to the alveolus, you need a bronchus that is open. When you have an air bronchogram, you will not have loss of lung volume. The reason you will not have lung volume is because the bronchus is open and air is flowing from the bronchus to the alveoli or to the alveolar sacs to distend the lungs and therefore have lung volume. Therefore, there is no loss of lung volume. How do you use this material clinically? Going back to your pathology and the brief pathophysiology that, that we just talked about, what we are talking about is if you have loss of lung volume, you will not have an air bronchogram sometimes. If you have loss of lung volume and have no air bronchogram, it means that your bronchus is closed. Therefore, you have a probability of a malignant lesion that is cutting off the bronchus because if you go back to your pathology primary bronchogenic carcinoma originates in the bronchus and not in the bronchioles and in the alveolar passage that's step one if you have no loss of lung volume you have air bronchogram by default it means that the bronchus is open and the process is alveolar Therefore, you have by default what we would call consolidation of the lung, which is non-malignant. Therefore, the significance of an open bronchus sign is in differentiating between alveolar pathology and bronchiolar pathology or bronchial pathology rather than bronchiolar. And the differentiation is between a malignant lesion wherein there is no air bronchogram and there is loss of lung volume and a non-malignant lesion where there is air bronchogram with or without loss of lung volume. I say with or without is because you can have loss of lung volume even with some mnemonic processes or if you have pleural fluid surrounding the alveolar uh, sacs such as a pleural effusion. So you would have loss of volume there. 
in that case also you would have air bronchogram therefore if you have an air bronchogram with or without loss of lung volume non malignant if you have no air bronchogram with loss of lung volume lesion is malignant or open bronchus sign indicates a non malignant lesion all right so that's tool number 1 and this is the end of toolkit number 1 video thank you very much